So this will be my very first time rewatching this, and um, it it's, it would be hard to focus also on Chad. So I will probably rewatch this in the future still and like go deeper into the Twitch chat of the GDQ run. But right now I mostly just want to see like what happens and like stuff. Are you ready for blindfolded Breath of the Wild? I mess up here. I, I... <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, three, two, Wait a second. One, one. <laughs> Wait a second, dude. Look at this. I'm counting here from ten down, and I mess up. I, I went from like ten to eight. And <laughs> I was too awkward to fix it, and I was like, <laughs> like, nine, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> six, six, <laughs> oh man, good times. <laughs> All right, so starting out here, there is some Thunder Blight uh, should be fun yeah, to watch. Yep. On, but, uh, just to talk about what Thunder Blight was. In this run, it's a lot of normalized was, movements. Uh, so that means is movements a moment, where dude. We do them, uh, we're gonna get to the exact same position every single time. You'll see uh, one of the biggest ones for that is like side hops. If you jump in a pers uh, specific direction, you're gonna go exactly the same amount every single time. So first thing that he's gonna need to do is grab the Sheikah slate. And, Basically, uh, don't hear any outside uh, noise. How did how well did the earmuffs work? No, I could not hear like anything, dude. And, uh, and we'll because I had in-ear headphones. So, uh, Saver, any, uh, particular I had like these type of headphones here, in my ear. On top of that, still like a drummer headphone, and the game on like max volume. So you can sprint in the game but it, that, that I could not see like anything at all and if your stamina bar goes all the way to the bottom you can't run anymore for a certain amount of time you can actually um make it so you can run at 80 but after like 10 minutes I my ears started to hurt so much because of the setup like the, the out the the outer ear headphones started to push like the in-ear headphones like into my brain dude like super hardcore Bubsia is using a very special controller which we it is the 8-bit do light controller on firmware version 1.03 which basically instead of having a control stick i need a pair like that doubled up headphones and silence so earmuffs before and could still hear some stuff leak through straight, straight forward or i also had the volume on pretty loud though i have to say and he's going to be utilizing that a lot during this run like when the when the crowd was super hardcore uh, cheering like really loud i could hear like in the background like a muffled super muffled like a mm, but but that was it like i could not hear anything really you can hear them if you listen really closely uh with the crowd here we might not be able to hear them with the crowd getting so hyped but uh yeah yeah but bubsy has got really good uh uh ear muffs on where he can't hear anything but the game and he is doing a great job of counting those steps as he goes so along. yeah um here luckily i don't know if i sh if exact position, exact i don't know if i want to talk too much over what my commentators say if it's annoying if there are two voices going on <laughs> but i guess i want to throw in some uh, of my well, impressions. As soon as Zelda finishes talking, uh, he is running this in. I believe this is French because it just happens to be the fastest. Happens. There was the guy sitting next to me who kept mumbling to himself. On. This guy's a living task. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here he can basically just go up, count some steps, and end up out in the bright sunlight. So yeah, big shout outs to Mid Mitch, Mitris, and Metroid Master and Crystal Saver for commentating that. I'm curious how how they will do it. All right. Yeah. From here, you're going to see a lot of uh, similar movement to what you would see in a regular uh, Breath of the Wild speedrun. He's going to be grabbing an axe that he's going to need for later. He's going to be grabbing mm -hmm. some food that he's able to mm -hmm. cook. Uh, and all Let him cook. As he starts to make his way through the Great Plateau, uh, the first order of business is actually going to be to find... Did anyone catch the, the origins uh, of, of the cooking memes and the chef memes um, of this JDQ, by the way? ...activate the shrines that we need in order to get the important powers that you get as uh, as Link here. He's doing a bit of a yes, save. Yes, <laughs> uh, This one 
is basically just because we know exactly where we are right now, um, and he has to go a really, really long way in <coughs> footsteps, so if anything goes wrong, he wants to have that backup save where he knows exactly... I went back to watch it yesterday. I still have not... Yeah. Uh, while we're doing this track, this might I, be I perfectly time. missed both the overcooked anti ratatouille run. We have a two thousand dollar donation from Brent saying yes, chef. Video volume a bit quiet. I can turn it up a bit. Just then it might cover up my my noise, my my sound. Turn it a bit up for some transportation stuff that we'll be seeing a little bit later. After we have gotten to the Great Tower. <clears throat> mm -hmm. and, uh, Overcooked was such a cool run. I heard, I heard super many good things about it as well. As a map. I have to rewatch it. Wow, who knew? Oh, I'm sorry, Cata de la Tablet Chica. Oh, of course, of course, <laughs> I knew that. Metroid Master <laughs> with the that can happen is with the is French. Listening for the <laughs> footsteps as he goes over certain uh, paths, he can hear the different sounds that the footsteps are making. Hey, Irish Bob. And that can help him to make some little adjustments if he's a little bit off. The coach had good commentary through the whole there, thing. That's nice. That's good staggered. to hear. I'm curious so he how it will be. Over that rock. Here he's I got the, the perfect line with four arrows here as well. Four. That's perfect. Four. Four so based number, on yeah. that, he knows that's a pretty good number. He can just keep going straight. He doesn't have to make any adjustments. And he should end up right where he wants oh, to. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Oh, please, yes. Oh, clean, yes. dude. Nice. Really clean. I was so worried about this passage, like, that I will mess this up. But that was really uh, clean. I was wondering what he's doing, so we're going to put our little uh, Sheikah Slate in. Hey, it was a pretty scary part. What's up? That was one that uh, Bubsy was telling me he was worried it could absolutely go wrong because it is just yeah. Such a long this first part, this, this first part is the worst in marathon like runs because um, so really like it's the first thing perfect, the viewers first gonna see uh, from you gonna your gameplay. From the tower, and the and way to if you mess this up, it will uh, look so bad. Like it would look like you 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 are such a joke. So I'm very very happy that that one went clean. Glitch, but allows us to get down from the tower without having to climb down the slow way. And this is a speed run after all. Not just blindfolded, but fast. If you didn't have Bob's shown next to the gameplay here, I would think it was just Maybe a regular speed run. Mess up the trick. That's, the that's what I like to hear. Right after you watch all these cutscenes, so he's in no danger at the moment of restarting or redoing anything. You'll be mad and bomb. Yes, <laughs> yeah, nice I, I had to reset Bomb Shrine. Auto saves and you can do a manual save Mitch well. told me afterwards so that it was because I landed on the upper platform somehow, which is like, I have no idea how that could happen, dude. Best blindfolded speed games uh, out there is just because you have all these different options to make sure that you can do it. Here he's counting. Nice fall damage Ooh. cancel there here. He lands there he perfectly. But yeah, it now really seems like the crowd is into the run and man. chat is also uh -oh, hyped, so... I think he outbeards me just a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he, he sure does talk for a really long time. Like, come on, who died and made him king? Right? Hey, he does talk a lot. Like, something about, like, a Absolutely. paraglider, maybe? That, like, he has? Santa. Like, like, he just <laughs> somehow has a paraglider for mm. us. Yeah, sure. I mean, it looks fancy. I'd want one if he asks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd take one. Would, wouldn't want a paraglider. But uh, before he'll give it to us, we do have to go to some shrines. Yeah, the good old man. I, I hate him. Um, so getting to those <laughs> shrines is going to take a lot more of that normalized movement. Um, one really good thing that is going to start to come up as he heads towards the first shrine. He had some mistakes in Plateau, which he hadn't done before. It, yeah, sort of absolutely. But that's that just way. the marathon. So you know exactly marathon luck, you know. Your camera is in. So as he heads over here... Who does this guy think he is? The king? That, um, <laughs> yeah, right? Bubsy has swung his axe there mm. and was able to mm. turn himself while swinging the axe. Swing buffering explanation. Movement. When he turns himself that way, he's able to set himself up for specific 90-degree turns that will help him get himself oriented in the way that he wants to go before you just start zooming off into the void. Absolutely. You would think it is nice. They in commentary, then, they you know, are the like Turns out going like back and forth and trading the sentences. The that's super nice. So here's the wall, as I was talking about. It puts his camera exactly in the direction of the wall, so he knows exactly where he is here. I heard a donation there, before uh, this run, Onsen. Mm -hmm. Now he's using, thank you, um, thank you very RC much for contributing. To set his speed up and make sure that he hits the wall in a certain way. 
that doesn't mess with his camera. And now excellent, we have excellent, excellent. Our clean so shrine. far, clean so far. And now I yes. think I'm, so I will mess shrines, up, right? He's going to start out by holding exactly forward Spoiler left. Spoiler alert. Um, and that should get him directly to the Sheikah Slate, but if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. He can back that up. Um, also, all of these shrines always say Commentary is good, exactly they did well, nice. Them. So if you needed That's to redo to the shrine from the beginning, it is no I, big I will, deal whatsoever. I will tell them yeah. afterwards. And now here we are getting our remote bombs. This... Mm -hmm. We'll say blows this game wide open, it sure especially does. with the tech that we have for Breath of the Wild. Wow, the puns, mm. dude, the puns. Yeah, you will see the bombs are not just used for their intended purposes, but also for a little bit of uh, speed tactics uh, mm -hmm. that'll come in a little bit later, especially in the wind bomb, uh, the showcase that we have, uh, if we meet that incentive. Which we actually, I think we already did, didn't we? We did. We did. Meet we that will incentive. see that later. Let's go. Yeah, so, <laughs> actually, I have an update on those in incentives. Mm -hmm. Not only have we met the Cryonis Wind Bomb incentive and the okay, here I ran showcase, way too long. We just met the Baron of Shell Fly Me to the Stars bonus. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, what happened here? I think here it All was right. So here Bubsia is listening for the sound of the platform. Oh, dude, oh, are you kidding me? Up. Oh, that's what happened. However, but it's insane. How did they land up there? Exactly forward for where the camera was. So even though he oh, got blown up, man. Link's body went all over the place. I, I was hundred percent sure I fell down from the elevator the into the little He's pit. Right back to where he was before. Yeah, the backup is, is clean. The backup works. Exactly I just am not down there because down there is a ladder. I said I searched like a ladder a here. Difficult backup here. Hopefully he can find it. He's trying to. Dude, I landed to all the way particular. perfectly up again. Yeah, That's he's crazy. Gonna, he's just gonna start the. Um, he's just gonna start the shrine over. That's so a save very load stupid on a time file, list, It brings you back to the start. He knows where he is. He knows where the cycle <clears> of that platform is. So it should be much easier to back it up from here. There were some small misconceptions that Saver probably could have cleared up, but I guess it would be we weird go. if they say know, something at another commentary. Nah, you're wrong. Basically, yeah, no, a I mean, that's moving, like, ahead of, uh, where if, it, if it's nothing We're major, I think it's much more important in commentary. Rather than to be accurate so with what they talk it, about, I think it's important to, like, right keep the conversation going and, like, keep the hype going, especially. Like, good commentary is very difficult to achieve. Because it's not only like being accurate with what is happening. Safe. He's gonna just blow up that bomb. Normally, wait for the platform. I hear I missed a few bomb throws as well. Okay. And when he we hears go. the jingle, he knows he's good. Hey, could so now he's just listening for when the platform gets louder. He's gonna jump to the right. Mhm. Mm That's how we catch the cycle. Yeah. All right. There there is. The gap. We're not quite done yet. The whole team did awesome getting Almost everyone engaged. There. That is nice. That is very nice to hear. You see, he's doing these specific side haps to position himself just right to where he wants to be. Now we have a slight bit of RNG with explosives. Mm, I didn't hit we the second one. row here. He did not get this one, so he's going to hear it hit the wall, and he knows it's too close. He jumps off, blows it up, and Gets there we go. It. There we go. Gonna hop a little bit, do a couple more nice. side hops. Doctors here, without borders in chat. <laughs> just right. Oh, excellent. And a complete his shrine. Well nice. done. <clears throat> All right. Uh, as we have these cutscenes at the end of shrines, he's gonna always, uh, I believe it is, skip the first cutscene, but then the second cutscene. But yeah, GDQ was really, really bit. cool. I, I had um, such a good time there. A weird quirk with this the run was like the perfect the wild, ending for me to the event. Right away, it was very, it very cool. Not have loaded anything, um, but if you give it a little bit of time, it will preload coming back out into the map. Also, a bit, and it's actually I said to, like, I'm kind of done with Breath of the Wild, um, but I will go for to, one more PB. I think. Uh, because just my PB is so bad, I can I can PB within one or two days. Now our, uh, old man is gonna come if and I talk if to I just ra ground, we're grant this route, like, hey, why don't you give us our paraglider? Uh, I don't think he's gonna do it just yet. Nah, he's like, uh, you did what I asked. Were you to scared do, that the two million again? mark would yeah, not again, be hit? Just three more. Kind times, like I, I wasn't more, scared I, when I heard the first announcement more. that it's two million uh, and they I were at like one point two. This, I did see three there. Somewhere I was like, I okay, was that is a lot, dude. I don't really know much French, so I can't really say. Uh, um, 
But then further in the day, points. especially when Mitch had his no, run, they were already at like 1.6 or something. 1.7. I was like pretty confident that they will make it happen. All right. So and um, he is again counting it wasn't it was not that as much that I scared position. that I would not um, run it was more that I got like scared not scared but like nervous that like how long am I gonna need to wait will it get like pushed further I had like no information about exactly that so I was just like on, on like on hold kind of you know that, that was kind of nerve wracking a bit. Where he's going, he's trying to get to this little corner here, which is going to Plus, the longer the they, the longer they waited for the run to happen, the more like mm -hmm. pressure it was so, yeah, these to like sort of actually fulfill all the expectations the of people sure waiting exactly like another hour so and stuff. Slightly left or slightly right, it'll still end up. So it was more like a mental fine. thing. And here, Bubsy is going to be constantly going back and forth with. Uh, Sprinting and whistle sprinting about five times altogether until he finally reaches Dark Souls 1 and 3. Yes, hut. that will be and very, very the, soon. When, uh, first enough, one, <laughs> like first Elden Ring, probably, then Dark Souls yeah, 1, then Dark Souls 3. He doesn't do anything bad to the hut. After, <laughs> after SM6470 okay. star, he wouldn't, he wouldn't steal from an old man. He wouldn't steal from an old man, wow. would you? Well, is it stealing if you can't see? Hey, Nico. If you're stealing? Did you watch many uh, other runs? I did I watch quite a few, that's yeah. That's in the law. I don't think you can. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's still a not. Yep, hey, Elden Ring cool. will be the first one. There was. Um, um, but uh, see but Elden Ring has been blindfolded before, so I'm just right learning strats of another person. Uh, so we got a, um, okay, was it, um, now. Pepper, and it looks like a stamello mushroom. Be, be, stamello be careful. Mushroom, right. He's gonna be using both Memes those incoming. Those into some food in a bit. Uh, the spicy pepper is necessary in order to get through the cold I want to see the chat, what they, how they react. And the, uh... Woo! <laughs> blindfolded cooking. And we're gonna, let him uh, cook. Let him cook, chat. Let, let him, cook, him chat. cook. Chef Link. Yes, chef. <laughs> yes, chef. Yes, chef. And now we uh we got a pot lid. Uh, that's gonna work as our shield for a little bit. This is actually chef of the wild. <laughs> And you will see Eli sort of perfect for the cooking song. Later. Yeah, yes, yes, I didn't have a mic. I couldn't sing like even so. if I wanted to. Isn't it the weakest shield in the game? Turns out it can be one of the strongest if you know how to use it right. Mm -hmm. yep. Hey, paratrooper. So we're doing a little bit more uh, bunny hops. So one big difference. And bio Billy say, bones. Um, Thank you for the great run. The wild is in breath of the wild. You can do hops forward. So yeah, I, I did watch many other runs. I really enjoyed Halo Three. I have never played the game, but. I yeah, saw the speedrun and it was fun. Role, role, Clone Hero Showcase was normalized. absolutely amazing. That was like the so most here, impressed I've been in a long time. Those two definitely stick out. He's now uh, trying to make his way to figure out where exactly he is as he gets ready to climb. Yes, this will be on YouTube, Longisaur. No worries. Here. Yes, he's trying to get into a specific spot here, and it looks like he's got it. Oh, oh no, what? He took a shot. He's okay. He's, he's okay. I'm yeah. up there, but I got he's hit. He's going to get his stamina back here, start his next climb. Oh, okay. what? So I was up there. Oh, oh, no. Oh, not quite. Yeah, no, I, I thought I fell down. Here. Um, that never happened before, dude. Literally. Be, so wow. He hit me with a stone mid-climb, yeah, and I did not fall down from it. I just continued climbing. Here. He wants to get those hops so he can get up quick, but doing those jumps costs a lot of stamina. Mm -hmm. so here, two, wow. Three, okay, I, that I have not expected at all. Did you route something without the ass? No, I didn't. As I didn't. I will continue routing today the after the rewatch. Probably BBH Reds. Bubsy got stuck. He would have actually climbed the tree. He would have reset immediately. The bomb above the head completely avoids that problem. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dude, Clone uh, Hero again, with, really uh, was crazy. Comparisons to Ocarina of Time, you could see this as like a pseudo ISG or Infinite Sword glitch, where it gives you that protection from walking off the ledge yeah i think what went wrong on the previous one was getting hit by the enemy i think adjust your i really want to see reactions to the later stuff so this time he should have it kept <laughs> yeah perfect. now as i said i will upload this to youtube A for sure more climbs to get to the top 
Yeah, I, the rhythm game ones are really cool. There was also at GDQ, there was an arcade with many rhythm game machines and I got so addicted. Like one day before my run, I should like practice and I was just like four hours straight in the arcade and destroyed my hands on like rhythm games. They could not let Link just stand up there and he could fall anytime. But right now, the game's playing nice. Okay, this should work. I think I only failed it once. I wonder what time I got at the plateau because I did quite a few mistakes. Let's hope he can get the Sheikah Slate. No, very close. I rendered the drama of this run. It's so close. Never seen you shot there before. Oh, here I was too far, actually. Oh, I could have just pressed A, dude. Oh my god. So he can get into this corner in the top right, uh, top left, mm -hmm. and then he can just immediately get the terminal. There nice, nice backup, nice backup. Excellent backup hey, Michimori, and what a turtle. So he basically, yeah, he knows, okay, I'm, I'm somewhere else, and he can basically just move around until and Noriga? he finds exactly N Noriaga? the right position where he knows where he is, gets some sort of Thanks audio for the GG. and fix himself. Ads, dude, Twitch player, I forgot. <laughs> I have not downloaded it, I'm just watching it from the thing, dude. Well, at least we can talk a bit, I guess. <laughs> also, enjoy German ads. <laughs> I always forget that vaults have like the worst ads ever. All right. So here. if I may, mm -hmm. oh god. Oh, I was just gonna say that here. Oh, your are, hands recovered uh, yet? I can feel them a bit, but so definitely okay. I started like my stretching cycle, routine as so today knows, and stuff again, uh, so getting into it exactly at this they time, they pretty okay. The slate. He knows where the edge. Is. And he does not have to uh, guess as to when to use I should add here. I should add the edge emote to 70 V. So you're gonna see him do specific bunny hops here just to I wonder how, how clean time. how clean was the timing. And at the right moment he's gonna Oh really clean, nice. Sure that platform is straight, so really really bottom. clean. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Alright, now as he wants to use stasis on uh, this rolling ball here, you're going to start to see some camera manipulation because you have to be facing at it in order to be able to use stasis. So he's going to be using a scope cancel, which is basically <laughs> yeah. a scope putting out. And that moves Thank you, the Dilameda. The, the, the Thunderblight just, fight was definitely uh, a ride. Right amount in order to get it, it was not, the, uh, it, it, it was not in my plan to one, be so long two, stuck at, at the Blights, stasis. for sure. Big timing. But... It just shows that blindfolded runs can go really wrong sometimes, and you just need to push through. All right, these side I think hops super I think so this was exactly more like a fight of mentality point. later on, which is also nice to show off. Careful, of course, I would have also liked it to get first try and like get a good time, but whatever, it was fun. Bye bye, Boulder. Count those hops and. Oh yeah, the, the whole hype that was built around the whole run, I I am I, I super appreciate it. It's crazy. All right, as these cutscenes are playing out, we can get a couple of donations going here. <clears throat> you got it. We have a three hundred dollar donation from Hippo saying blindfold. How? Show me. <laughs> And we have eight Yeah, no, don't don't worry about Chrisana my hands. They they are okay. I mean, the they like I had big problems with my hands for like a long time day. now, but I started to really take care of them. Right, Just at GDQ here, at the week at GDQ, I didn't really like stretch much and stuff. So we're to. now I'm back um, to my routines. This is now the Cryona Shrine we're heading to. Is that right, Saber? That is correct. Okay. Thir is third time, the, uh, dude. We died like five times at Thunderblight, I think. It is cold. We spent like Very 20 cold. minutes easy here. at yeah, only the blights. Had, uh, pepper because we do not have the clothing that resists uh, the colder temperatures. It was, mm. it was, so a, see, it was, it was quite rough. Unbearably cold. So after a set amount of time, if you don't have something to make the cold more bearable, as a viewer, it's really exciting. Damage, as we see yeah. Here. A lot now more than 20 minutes, really. Damn. <laughs> and so he knows that he is good to do a bit of movement first, 
uh, then he can use the food. It will restore the heart as well as give him that cold resistance. Hey, you guys should be fine to make it all the way to the shrine. This is a very scary part. Um, <clears throat> it is basically just running through an open field where... Honestly, I feel that makes it a cooler marathon run. Failures and backups just improve the hype. Um, and that is very true. And also the fact that I failed so hard and like many points like Thunderblight, but I pushed through and now, now comes the now comes the the important part. I still finished with an estimate by two minutes, like just very barely, but I hit the perfect estimate, dude. And I think that is the, the greatest part of this whole thing, dude. Because like I just used up my showcase time like to the maximum so dude, it's like a lot to keep track of. <laughs> it had a pretty good plateau i mean for my standards it was not very good yeah, he's counting all of these footsteps so as impressive but as it, it was a, it was decent for marathon run for sure every single one of these needs to hear them very precisely um and no more lemon estimate was 135 so and they added 10 minutes for the final, incentives uh very impressive ending to this there it is, the shield slide. Like the 145 is including both showcases also, hey, at the end. Piece, but the run nice. estimate is 135. Less just they right. they decided to include both right, together for some here, reason. He's not 100% consistent on his position, so he's going to I think this I got first try. Um, so that he doesn't know exactly where he is, but he he can get an idea. Yo, Shifty, so what's up? There's a bit of non-snow that he just heard, so he Thanks for the GG. We, <laughs> funnily enough, Shifty, we ledge. talked about you at GDQ. I and talked with some I talked with some uh, yeah, Pokemon runners here. that I met, I five and they were like, "Yo, do you know Shifty? He, he's the, the he's that guy who blindfolds Pokemon games." And I was like, "Yeah, I know him. I know him. He's a cool guy." <laughs> from there, he knows where he was because he opened up the chest, so he should be able to pretty much just go straight up to the shrine here. All right, just making it. Nice. That was really clean. I'm I'm very glad that I didn't mess Let's up here a lot. Uh, the new strat, the new strat is yes. pretty good with the with the footstep normalization there. All right, and now we are entering the Cryonis Shrine. There is a slight bit of RNG that we will have to deal with in the form of a miniature guardian. Yes, but uh, as he mm -hmm. gets this ready, I do want to mention uh, a piece of tech that I learned uh, mm -hmm. when Bubsy was yeah. showing me this run. Uh, when you use Cryonis, you can actually put it directly under your feet. Ah, uh, you okay. Yeah, of course, he said something else. <laughs> It'll put it directly under your feet. You don't have to aim it. So that is pretty much the only way that Bubsy is going to be using it throughout the run, except for uh, one exception. But for the most part he knows exactly no where what i wanted to say is um is is, so. mitch actually uh, mitch actually learned right. the cryonis so, shrine blindfolded uh, himself at gdq like i taught him how steps, to do it sure and he he, he, exactly right he went for it and you're gonna see that there's big shout be an enemy coming up in a little bit and uh that enemy uh hey valkrono shoots him will sort of push him in a direction um, so we are counting on it to shoot us one time, but we're counting on it not After to you fall on the that. well so. for the last fight, would it go back to the Blights if you lost? Um, you go back before the Blights all the way until Dark Beast. So if you die at Ganon, phase 1 or phase 2, you have to repeat the, the Blights, yes. The on, it's only safe okay, from where the, the horse good. fight is starting. So you then you are safe. Bubsia did a, uh, a shield parry attempt there to move him forward just slightly. Nice. Really avoided the guardian well. So the entire ending good. is just There's one big segment left. that you need to flawlessly and do. Yeah. Get stuck. Yes, yes nice. So those little stairs at the top of the shrine have a slight hitbox that extends a little bit out. So sometimes you can get caught on the corner of those stairs. Yeah, these hitboxes are very there. drank on the stairs. Kind of feel his way through to get into was a good cry on this. Is anyone beating your blindfolded 120? Uh, no. <laughs> to, it will be a while until yes, anyone ending, wants to even it, attempt it. Like, I oh, can promise you. Forward and you should get there, but sometimes there's a little adjustment that is needed. In this case, luckily, no adjustment needed. Got right there. Um, now that we've got three of the shrines, he's actually just going to warp back to the tower. Uh, there it is. There we go. Oh, he, he wasn't <laughs> sure. He's just going to do it again. No worries. 
Yeah, okay. very, very happy that Calamity the, uh, was good, indeed. Once again to get down I was down. saying that I asked, I did like on Reddit, like an ask me anything after right. the run, this is happening, and we'll get um, maybe one or two someone asked like uh, what is like You've important and stuff, and that is kind of also my answer, like you have to stay focused, dude. like you cannot lose running, your composure after, or, like your composure after the, um, after failing stuff, because like even if I fail, Thunderblight like five times. I was absolutely not allowed to like, I don't know, tilt and like, not uh, not not pay attention anymore because like this is a marathon. You need to finish. You need to finish within time, dude. There is no way. You have to do it somehow. And when I got finally to Calamity Ganon, I knew like I have to do this now, dude. I had to. I have to do this. So uh, I was like full focus mode, hardcore. Under his feet, but instead he's gonna do it just sort of looking down a bit. And you might say, isn't that very inconsistent? Well, yes. It so I guess is. that's a big part why uh, Calamity also went so well. I like really, 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 really hardcore so focused on it. Where it ended up being. And he's got a setup for every single position it could Nobody, be unfortunately, uh, hasn't done anything me, blindfolded related in a long time now, like multiple years. Splish. Splish. And get right to the wall. He's done a slight slow climb here to make sure that he has enough stamina to get to the top. He's getting himself on that corner, gonna do a couple side hops and just make a Yeah, Naked Road definitely helped. I, I feel like a much better player uh -oh, in this game since uh -oh, then. But he gets Let's it. Go. Gonna walk right in. We don't need to worry about those. Enemies. Yeah, also probably that I have some marathon experience beforehand already. Like I've done many blindfolded right, runs so at marathons. Here, and also uh, like you might be wondering, well, this shrine was really yeah. close to the tower. So I, I guess that helps as well. First. Well, he's actually going to use And LL hundred, other, uh, yeah. I, I did some other, hard uh, stuff in my life. In <laughs> that helped for sure. Make it a little faster, make it a little easier and more consistent. Um, so we're going to see that instead of magnesis, which tends to be very inconsistent, the camera moves <clears throat> around a whole lot as you're doing it. I think this shrine was also very clean, I, if I remember correctly. To get through this instead. Yep. Or sorry, uh, Cryonis as well. But yeah, the, the chat, the, the, the GDQ sort of, chat is uh, really liking the run. I, I, I enjoy well. seeing it. Many people are just like, yo, this, this is, is so cool, this is crazy. That you'll see him use magnesis, and it's only one time to oh, get rid one of this door underneath his feet. Mm -hmm. After that, no circles. All right. There it is. Now he renormalizes on the ladder. Lucky there's a ladder there so we can mm. get exactly into the position and angle that we know. There is something that wasn't hey, talked about before, but the reason that the camera isn't moving while Link is running is if you actually touch the camera just slightly, the camera will not move regardless of which direction it goes in. So he's opting to use stasis on that block. Oh, I got a good, yeah, oh, that was nice. A good RNG with stasis. the block. Also, Very bad. an enemy that he could not see <laughs> with the block that he launched with stasis. So now here he is going to use cryonis on under his feet. Yeah, you're to intended across. to make a I like the Kakashi aesthetic, thank you. But there's water, so okay. we'll just use cryonis to lift ourselves <laughs> up. No big deal. Why not? He's also going to use I stasis to be on like... the store and... Knock it away because it's a little more consistent than using magnesis. <laughs> and we're and right we are through. End. Dude, I should I should start where I should start the stream like this, dude. <laughs> Alright, with those four now uh, all that is left is to actually go and get the paraglider. Everyone went the, crazy uh, with the blindfolded parry. Yep. So, uh, now we just have to sort of warp I'm so happy I got it first right. There, I'm so, so happy. Um, well, there is some interesting movement that's going on here. Uh, I do think that probably this movement section we could get a couple kill, yeah. of donations. Oh, you've got it. I have a hundred dollar donation from Night Hylia. Hey Karukai, I, I was watching you run with Japanese restream viewers, and we all were very surprised uh, how accurate you did the techniques. Thank you, them. glad I glad you liked it. Merch, but since there's a Legend of Zelda I have to watch the Japanese restream as well. I'm interested in the commentary about it. Cause. You guys are awesome for always doing this event for a good cause, and also trans rights. I didn't even know you could stasis right. this door. Yeah, you can, definitely. It's it's very, very helpful for blindfolded. Where and when was this? It was two days ago, 
at so GDQ so in the US in Minneapolis. Yes, it's actually not the tower. The tower could work to No, this was not the PB. One this was far from the PB. This was a very bad run here. in that regard. But like good for a marathon, but I not very the, good the in like PB time. That is correct. Excellent. And our old friend the Skull Coblin is gonna show up here, so Bubsy is gonna give him low present and then run away as quickly as possible. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, has to do this section seen. very quickly here to make sure that uh, the enemies do not catch up to him. So you see, the only it, other enemies that could appear. I, I'm just gonna pretend the doll did not ring. I'm not at well. home. Right. So you see a little bit. Um, Bubsy did a hop and a turn. This is. Did, do you get a bit nervous playing in front of a crowd? Axe, but Honestly, not, not like really. Fully 100 for like, it can be as how it is for me it, is uh, frame but like when I start the run, I'm a bit um, so like nervous speed, of like the start. But as soon as I am running, hops, more than like five no minutes, needed, I get like much more focused than I'm usually am on stream even. Yeah, the reason like the I really like if he goes too slow, he I I really like playing in front of crowd. Actually, it up, it calms me down. To reset back at the bomb shrine. Mm -hmm. So with the setup that Bubsy came up with from the bomb shrine, we actually should be able to hit the ladder either perfectly or a little bit to the left. He's a little to the left, but he should know that because it wasn't PB pace up into a gannon. Yeah, but that's also just because my PB is very so bad. He, that's um, why I was. That's uh, why I was wanting was another little, grind for like one more PB uh, because my PB is really bad. Right, I can PB by like so much <laughs> if I just get now a decent specific, run. Uh, so we're gonna grind top, in the next few days probably for another PB still. Hey, is that the old man? How did he get up there? Yeah, it's, it was still PB pace, but weird. Why small PB like pace. I, I can PB them. big. <laughs> I'm a greedy man, you know. And hmm. cutscenes. Hmm. Something's going on here. Something's going on here. Any oh, run that is completed underestimate is good for a marathon. Oh, that is very true. So. Anyway, oh, so that's who died and made him king. Is he becoming to say hi? Oh no. He died and was king. Now I'm scared. Well, now we have our paraglider. And now we can get off this rock, finally. Finally. Uh, but uh, we're not just going to paraglide down normally. No, no, no. That would be much too easy. So, uh, actually, wait, no. I think we do paraglide down normally, and then it's afterwards that we're going to do some, uh, some shenanigans. Now we've picked up our bow. This is also going to be very important throughout the run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this bow is going to set up a glitch that's going to happen about... To be fair, you can neither so see nor hear the crowd. Yeah, that is very true. Except Bubsy, yeah. <laughs> Also, they released some very cool pictures from right. the GDQ well, stage. We can look at them plateau, later, too. One of the, uh, most important some of them are very cool. ...is a way to travel around quickly, and uh, luckily, uh, there is a, a system in the game that allows us to get a horse uh, very quickly, and that is the Amiibos. So uh, we're going to be using the <laughs> what in the name to get of Hylia, <laughs> which is one of the best horses that you can get. Um, but most importantly for us, uh, you can get it consistently. You don't have to <clears throat> chase down a wild horse, uh, and of course, it immediately likes you fully. Hey, so it'll you follow so. your commands. It's not going to just three. go off in a random Yo, hello, me. Thank you for so the 29 you know, months. Gonna, Jesus, gonna welcome back to the Star Crew. Just in case. Appreciate it, able to jump off and Hey, show, show. <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. Now we what's are up? What's up? How you doing? Proper. Was nice. Was nice. All right. So first thing he needs to do, he just needs to basically find a, a safe place here. So he's gonna run forward until he can get there, uh, past a bunch of enemies. Oh, yeah. Now we're just running around. I wonder how the enemy RNG was here, but, here, but it, is a yeah, it very, looks very good. wide open and random place with a lot of enemies. So far, it looks good. So far, it looks like he can keep going. How happy was Mokko when you came back? I'm sure he uh, missed you. Yeah, he was. Either. He was pretty, uh, pretty happy. I would say. Some of the footsteps happening. I, I, he, he, he's a, he's a bit of a, he's a bit of a proud guy. He's like not wanting to show that he. Also, when, when me and my girlfriend excellent. go on like excellent. trips and he's at my parents' place or so, to, uh, like, he doesn't want to show that he missed us, but then at night he comes to cuddle you and it's like, oh, you are back. Mm. <laughs> yes. So, we will get Epona soon, but uh, he, he's, a, he's a bit of a, of a tsundere. Uh, unpredictable section first here. Uh, while that's happening, a little bit more running, so maybe a little bit more donations. You've got it. 
we have a hundred dollar i think he respawned some Eric enemies that i was a bit scared if they will mess me up where they are because they know where they aren't by subtracting where they are from where they aren't or where they aren't from where they are whichever is greater they they spawn. Spawn. oh yeah oh it's just this one guy okay I somehow so, uh, had it worse in my just picked up memory. A, uh, heart radish. We'll be using this a little bit later in the run to make sure that he's able to keep himself healthy. Yeah, soon we will be getting quite a bit of food, but that is the, the first piece of food that we can get uh, very convenient on the way. Um, you also saw a new movement tech that we didn't talk about before. So he's not actually ever going to use Magnesis for its intended purpose for the rest of the run but he is going to use magnesis because if you start a up plus magnesis, thank you do a jump hey. to the, thank you very much uh, right or to the left it actually shifts your camera oh yeah a very oh yeah i had to wait um, what, what went wrong here? Something went wrong here. I don't remember what it was. Safety save here. He should be in exactly the same position every time here. So it just uh, helps him to make sure that he knows where he's at. Okay, heading over to this house, which is basically just a Oh, actually, sorry. Oh, uh, I got spotted. Chest, which is very uh, important. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Guardian spotted him. He yeah, yeah, okay. Get picked off while he is trying to grab That's unfortunate. Chest. That's just yeah. RNG. There's nothing you can do about that. that. Just need to reload. Just, there's a lot of enemies here. Hey, Anth and Anom Anomaly, them, thank so you so much for the reload, sub. Welcome to the Star Crew. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and your stay. So what is he trying to look for over here? Hmm. So this chest has uh, a very, very important item in it. It is a uh, DLC War flashback. Chest. <laughs> Guardian. Uh, this one gives one of the pieces of the phantom armor. Which yeah, is very it's, it's very stupid that you can get just spotted randomly here and lose like 30 which, seconds of time. Idea, uh, like in a marathon, it's not that big, but defense. in PB attempts, it's very annoying if that happens. Uh, and it also gives attack up, which is very, very important as we fight Ganon. Attack up makes the fight go faster. Um, and oh, makes it so whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Weapons. Oh, this is the wrong position they here. They will all break. The bomb was supposed to... Uh, no That's very, very interesting. The bump was supposed to stop the seven. jump to be a full jump. Mm -hmm. So I'm further right than I should be. Mm -hmm. But it still it worked out, confused. didn't it? He's gonna, he's gonna try to do a few magnesis turns here. Mm -hmm. and so this position is a tiny bit wrong right now, but just a tiny bit. Maybe not enough to yeah, make it evil. like he is swapping different. to a uh, regular pro controller now. It does, um, I believe, has some notches on there, but this will allow him to scan his amiibo as the 8 bit Doe controller Pants. does not have <laughs> amiibo support. And there is our good friend, Epona. Epona, let's go. And so, what Bubsy is going to do is he's going to hold very slightly forward and then press A. You could probably say this is similar to the ESS position of Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. And he was waiting for um, to hear Epona jump over that rock, so he knows that he's heading in the correct direction. <laughs> and the reason he's holding some of, some this of the very specific comments angle so funny. on the controller uh, is because it will prevent Epona from trying to follow the roads. If you leave the <clears throat> stick neutral and just say Epona go, she will try to follow these roads, and that's very inconsistent. But if you hold a just that a tiny a fox, bit dude. forward, then Epona will go in exactly a straight line. Okay, I did quit a bit right, early here on that on Epona? that horse. But yeah, it's just you means... Epona? Thank you, thank you. Uh, when you get to this crossroads here, Epona, uh, even if Great run and crazy like ending forward, to SGDQ kind of this year. Really should be asleep, so I catch this vote off the vote later. So we'll nice. <laughs> Wish you a very good night then. Foot. Thank you for stepping by. Here he is re -normalizing I will also upload this on YouTube later on, so no worries if you miss anything. Exactly this position because there's this little hill in front of him. So the goal is that the chests that spawn will just sort of slide by him, and all the meat that spawns he can pick up. Oh, he got yep. five extra arrows. How lucky. Uh, this is the power of Amiibo. You just get meat and arrows raining from the sky. Did I open a chest here? And he's gonna do this uh, around ten times. I got I'm very sure good meat RNG count. though. Uh, but basically, just gonna get a whole Same with me. Good night and congrats. Thank you, and also good night. Heal him up through the entire rest of the run. Yeah, so uh, we use the uh, Super Smash Brothers Link Amiibo meat to get from Ibana, heaven. <laughs> and now we're using a bunch of uh, Ocarina of Time Link Amiibo. So I guess technically you can say this run Venezon. is pay It's Venezon and you know, Venezon fine. <laughs> Don't forget the DLC required. 
Yeah. DL yes, you need DLC and you need those amiibo, but they do just really increase the uh, so consistency. So much meat. It's actually Let him cook. This blindfolded route uh, <laughs> without a lot of those uh, amiibo and without the DLC armor, but uh, yep, this me is too, the me too. Easiest. Isn't it the best when it just it. rains meat? Is uh, uh, feeling back for his eight bit token show. Meat here. <laughs> switching back. The chef memes were good. I liked it. You know, GDQ, GDQ had some weird memes over the over the years, but I think the 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 cooking and the chef memes they they, they were of the better kind. Don't hit him in the head. Thank you. Okay. He actually knows exactly where that pops out. It is surprisingly <clears throat> consistent because that looked very random, but he knows exactly where it is for the second piece of the phantom armor. So now he has eight more defense, and now he has attack up plus two. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, he actually loads an autosave, which you might think, hmm, that seems weird. Isn't the autosaving consistent? It actually autosaves when you open the chest, but when that autosave happens, it actually happens at a previous position that he was at earlier, right here, which is exactly where he wants to be. Now he's going to manually save over top of it to make sure I, that he has it this exactly up? where he wants. I think and so. this is the perfect setup for our first really big, interesting uh, movement option here of the game, the Wind Bomb. Let's see if he can get it. So he's facing the camera up just to reduce the lag for this trick. Nope, Otherwise, failed. sometimes it may fail. <laughs> yes. He's making sure that everyone really doesn't enjoy those just memes as, much as, as long as they the aren't over them. By yep, facing his true. camera so far up. Um, hey, authentic and Brian. It's basically, it's just a precise Yep, timing. I'm running um, also so and for the Breath of the Wild. out in his head. It's a one that even sighted, you just have to get a feel for the timing of it. Um, but very hard to do. Um, to get a very good wind The headphones were very, very soundproof, yes. And I had like two headphones, like in-ear and outer ear so it was really, really, okay. I couldn't hear anything. No, oh, here I got a miss, here I got a miss. So what he's trying to do is he's um, pulling out his circular bomb first. He is jumping off the ledge and or he's jumping off the ledge. Your delay of the second bomb the was pretty long. And then it's, it's like the strat it, that I do. Um, I wait extremely long. I wait like two and a half seconds between the bombs. It's, I know it's not what you usually do in a visual run, but it does work. Mm, like consistently, at least. Like I do here and then like one, two, and, and then I like boom. Oh, that was a very flat one. I'm not sure he's gonna be happy with that. Yeah, he's gonna have to. Now he's gonna have one. to do it again. He's gonna have to do it again. Keep it just on the edge of being possible. Because, like, when I try yeah, my setup of, with an uh, earlier yeah, second bomb, it, like, it fails so much the, more often uh, for me. I don't know why. Drop, uh, falls enough away from it, us, that it's not going to Maybe I wait up, a tiny bit too long, but usually, like, that's how I do wind bombs. That second bomb into us, acting as a projectile, and then uh, that projectile of the second bomb... Yo, Tai Hill, I missed the run because I thought the incentive wasn't met and went to sleep. <laughs> oh, and no. That's why we had to it pick happens, up the bow earlier, happens. because he actually pulls out the bow mid-air to like, make t time go by slower. There we go. That looks good, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, so, pretty uh, his goal here weird is to get wind. on this sort of bridge walkway here. If you just go instant everything, it works pretty not consistent. Quite entirely on target, but that is okay. I definitely tried uh, like he can make his to do it like in the visual way, but I had troubles. Sure he's at full health because I would say I will try next. again, but uh, he can take some to be completely here, honest, I'm kind of oop. as I said, I don't know how often I will run this game. I want like one more PB, and I don't know if I want to really run a whole trick because of like the wind bomb now. But he can still activate oh. the cutscene. Oh, I need to go turned around here. here to get where he wants. Hi, Babzea. Watched the run from Japanese Restream. It was a nice run. Thank you very much. Glad you liked it. Comes out. That way he knows that he's over the water. Excellent. Now he's hey, Kruton is the best. And he can load. I need there advice. What advice this do you need? This is super consistent here once you get it. Tears of the okay, Kingdom so when? Exactly Actually, the it seems already pretty doable right now. Like, I, I'm waiting for the speedrun to develop more and more. Cool because, like, it doesn't make sense if I start routing it then. now and then yeah, next week, anyways, forward, comes a new patch and all the routes change again. Like, I just waste time to route then. Um, 
have yeah. to wait for the cycle of this. Uh, but these no spoil. No, I have no spoil. I haven't played the but, game myself, uh, in order so. To get through those cycles, he can just listen to where <laughs> I, they are I haven't played much exactly myself. What let's say like that. To to avoid them. I haven't seen the boss, the end fight, so I don't know how the end fight is. I don't know how the last boss is. All right. As we get into this yes, Saver did say that the end boss will be tough, to but I think with his, current glitches, uh, with current glitches, up, uh, it should be like doable for sure. Because case. it's like so I don't know what could happen open, that it's not possible because the current route and, and the glitches they are crazy. You can it it will I I believe from what I have seen so far from what I have seen so far of the speedrun, which is all the way until to the boss fights, it will be a much easier run than Breath He's of the Wild. And also Just shorter. Okay, pause champ. So happy I got that first try. Right. Blindfolded <clears throat> Perry on the Guardian. It is actually the uh, the best way to get through here. Um, he can listen to the sort of ticking of it as it's counting up towards him, and uh, and get that perfect parry. <laughs> so now that he's got that, he just no. I did play. I I so went. Oh, I just I didn't play much. I went sure. down from the plateau and, uh, and if you're then like started uh, sort of to like do some quests right and stuff. But I haven't had much time. Hyrule Castle through some of the to play. corridors. But I saw like the speech one because they anyways uh, don't do anything in the main weapons, world really. Uh, shields, bows, uh, food even. Um, basically we're gathering most of our supplies for uh, this entire ending section that we're going to be doing. Hey Johnny Sniper, enjoy the lure. He's also pretty much only doing hops here. The last whereas, phase of the boss uh, looks hard. Yeah, I have not seen it as I said, I don't want to be spoiled. So also please don't tell me what it is yet. Steps, but uh, in the um, very narrow corridors but I, here, what I can tell is everything wall, until the so boss jumps, fight no is looks walls. easier than Breath of the Wild for sure. Oh, now Saver, I want you to explain what's going to happen here because this is this is cool. So a while ago, we had to come up with a new strat to kill this Lizalfos. So for when we had weak weapons. In this case, Bubsia has the sledgehammer that we picked up before getting to Caronis. What he's gonna I do? Did, no, he's gonna I leave did a not fail this. I think on the floor, he's gonna side hop to the right into a little corner where the Lizalfos can't see him. Lizalfo, he's gonna whistle. The Lizalfos is gonna come by and be like, "Hey, there's a bomb," and Bubsia is gonna be like, "I'm gonna sneak strike and jump above him." Lizalfos gonna be like, "Huh? Where was that?" And he's gonna do it again. <laughs> That's right. Two nice. sneak strikes on the Lizalfos to take him out. Very clean. And now we get our first very powerful weapon of the run. Uh, this is a very end game area, so it has super, super high scaled weapons. Uh, that one in particular. The castle is very clean. Yeah, type true. Weapon, which is gonna come in handy later. Um, but he, yeah, is still gonna make his way through the castle and grab a couple more of these weapons and important things. But yeah, Castle has right. improved a lot since but I have done the well, Armorless route. I think Armorless route really, no, really no, puts you through lots of Castle practice, so, so ancient arrows, it should be like uh, of course, pretty do very, doable. Very powerful arrows. Uh, they can one-shot almost every you know regular enemy in the game, uh, and even on bosses, they are super powerful. So having even just three of those is a huge boon to our arsenal. Yes, this is the first three of six Comment in the chat. Commentators get. are so good. They do a good job. I enjoy listening to it as well. All right, making his way over. Is this the first time for you to review the GDQ run? Yes. I have not seen this at all. Is, um, I'm. I just watched this for the first uh, time. This, uh, moblin. And then another very funny strat here. Uh, so he's just gonna. It's always very fun to rewatch. Uh, because, and, uh, like in my brain, in my in my in my, in my head, I have like this image how it exactly was, like the position, memory how I played. The but then seeing the the actual like and, uh, video, you you get like the real the picture. Moblin, it's like so it's like quite it's like funny <laughs> to like compare the what actually happened versus what you thought happened. Smack. 
Thank you. <laughs> and this will be our uh, nice. Black Royal Claymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that. Uh, of Royal course, Claymore you haven't seen it. <laughs> I mean, it is true. In the entire, entire game. It does have how do you like my? Ability, how do you like the but, uh, the to basically collect as many the white cat can, mask? Right? By the way. I think it looks pretty sick with the white face mask and a white eye mask. I'm, I look like some weird creature, dude. There he grabbed a mushroom. I can't read exactly. I think it's it's a style. I know that it does an attack up buff, so that gives us more attack. He's already got two attack up buffs from his armor. That's amazing. Nice. That will make a third attack up. And white shirt, yeah, true. Full 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 fashion right there. Here also he grabs a horn of uh, one of the dragons. I don't know. That mask was so cute. Um, but I can show you the other ones as and, well. Uh, it, uh, makes so it there so were choices. This is the, the white one. Food that he cooks will be even more powerful. Will it's a very last cute one longer. for sure. And so that's gonna really help with that attack up buff to make it last through the then entire game. Then I have the, the penguin. Yeah. White seal. Making his way back out, but we've got a few more things <laughs> Go to grab here before we're all done. And the bear. Oh, and, and doing this normalized movement to light an arrow on fire, which now allows him to light under. And now we get to cook. Let him cook, chat. Let him cook. <laughs> The penguin? The penguin food, is cool, yeah. We are going to go ahead and teleport back to the entrance. The and penguin is, is a fan favorite, for sure. To make our way to the final boss. Almost, almost. I think there's Indeed. just a few more things to grab here. Just a couple more of those. Yeah, they, they uh, had a mask policy. A runners way, could, um, in the beginning, runners could... Uh, final boss. Basically, do a quick COVID test, and then if they were negative the 24 hours before where, the run, uh, they could do without the, mask. Uh, but the uh, they had COVID so cases already, at the, the event after a while, dead, which so is like, of course, it happens. It's um, such a big accumulation of people who go to uh, see different things in the in city and then like go all back to the hotel. So they had some COVID cases, and then they just decided that everyone needs to wear masks all the time. Which I, I personally totally agree. Wall. Like, for con, there's also not only COVID, but also other flus and like colds yeah, so and stuff Hyrule flying Castle around, viruses. Very, very big, very, very so where there's so much people general, walking in and out, uh, in I think case, it's a Valdia's it's a good measure. Climb along the outside and get exactly where we want to go. So he just knows exactly these these different movement options to get where we want. There are going to be guardians trying to shoot him the whole time, but... Didn't you have a Pippa one? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but it's it's uncomfortable. And I don't know where it is. All right. Here, finally, hey, two bites. To Watch the SGQ run live. It was amazing. Nice. Glad you enjoyed it. The old man's house, uh, is he's Thanks going for to checking it out while it was oh, live. No, but... Oh. There we go. He can eat that for just a little bit of extra stamina and make it up. Let's go. <laughs> nice. That was the stamina food that we cooked all the way in, in the plateau. All right. Here, a few more very important items. We've got some arrows. We've got a very powerful bow that we're going to use. He ate it. <laughs> We've got some more ancient Ten arrows. arrows. Blindfold and mask is a nightmare. Yeah, blindfold and mask is really, really gets really warm very fast. I I totally can agree with that. Don't know why they're in the goop, but there they are. It is there. It it's it it's very hard, but as you can see, it is doable. Just like a bit more tough on you. Flesh and boys. Final adjustments here to check on the angle. Just barely, barely climb up. up. And now we are gonna set up. Mask and Oh yeah, uh, true. Bomb. There was also a uh, ring fit adventure. A, uh, very precise precision. Uh, ice closed string run. Yes, He's I always have ice closed here, under the mask. Just in case. It's gonna hop himself Did up they got the first ledge, try? Set his camera angle. Begin the jump. Yeah. Try? And we are yes, Very good wind bomb. Excellent. And we are about in position. 
left, sticks the landing. And he's waiting for a sound cue. Yeah, to let it him know. It's quite huge route PV pace at Ganon entry. It's a 57 at this point, there so plus win plates with like 59. So he's going to set himself up in position <clears throat> for a very specific 59 trick. minute entry is, is decent. Just a yeah, just know all of this Definitely is not very bad. normalized movement. Uh, it's hard to memorize, but the actual execution... Um, and 106 early, yeah, true. All perfectly consistent here. But I did still have like a quite a few mistakes. It's gonna be looking also like plateau... To play oh yeah, what was the plateau I time? I didn't see. Necessary. But I uh, assume with the mistakes we had in Plateau, we can easily save like a couple of minutes even. When I did Armorless Route, I averaged a 31 Plateau for like 32 Plateau. Cancels here to change his camera angle to a very precise precision. He's gonna fire. Almost, almost one last. Hey, Civil. Down and fire. Oh, 35, save. Final, 35, final okay. save, and we are going so into yeah, the a few minutes in plateau. Of the run. Let's go! He fires off, he walks Yeah, the setup in. is really cool. And we are starting the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this battle is about to explode. <laughs> All right. So as uh, we start our first blight, um, fight. he's shaking a little bit. Ah, uh, this is a oh, and he's dead. Goodbye. And Jay I think this oh. one I, I fail. And now starts. Uh, I believe this oh yeah. Is oh, I jumped too early. I jumped too early. Not supposed to get hit there. That's a little awkward. Uh, but he might still be able to get the stagger here. Nope. No. I okay, tried. I tried to hit him here with a, it. with the arrow, but I should have reloaded okay. faster. It was no point in trying. Gonna shoot him. Uh, in the face to get some okay, I didn't know you have not hold up. No, no, he's just gonna load. He's just okay. gonna load. Happens. Uh, get back. Do that first one again. Happens. Happens. Air, yeah, this is exactly what's this the problem. Like, you breathe, and here, out of the... Where the air goes out, usually, it no, goes wait, into the eye mask. More than that. I think it's eight... <clears throat> yeah. Depending on how you count the... Uh, the you will not believe what happened on French side commentary. What happened? What, what is going phases, on? <laughs> so you really have to keep a good position, a good a track on the entire fight. Uh, otherwise, it can all go very, very wrong. Yeah, All the wind right. bites give successful. Yeah, I had a I had a good they, good position for the setup. Possible, so we always know where we're at, but sometimes you just I had to write sub pixels or whatever is needed for that. We just want to make sure that our royal guards claymore is only hit a very specific amount of times, and other than that, we just go hammer on it as much as possible. And boom! Boom! Oh, one down. <laughs> two out of two. All right, let's try this again. Duel two. Let's rock. <laughs> All right, so he pulls out his very strong... Oh, that's also very early, dude. To I, I jump uh, way too early. ...damage in the amount of swings here. He's going for a stagger. Excellent. Dropped him. Switches to the slightly less powerful Claymore. He doesn't need quite as much damage here in order to phase him. Not the hiccups, but they kind of cover for it. Once again, he's um, cancelling the um, recoil of okay. the second hit. I mean, what works, kind of speed things works, up a little bit. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, another big thing that he's going to be doing is a lot of the spins with the Claymore, um, which can sometimes double hit if you're facing away from the enemy. Uh, very, very powerful to get a lot of damage quickly. Here Have no hell. Let's rock. Oh, wrong direction. <laughs> Other way. Oh, he's trying to lock on, but it didn't quite happen, so he's going to have to wait through some attacks here. Uh, luckily, the ice that the boss does, just you can just walk away from it. Oh, Yo, Gasta, thank you for the raids. Him. Welcome everyone. Ooh, Just in time the for the big Excellent. fight. It's a stagger. Oh, I was one hit short. Closer to that boss. Yeah, he wanted one more hit there. Looks like he's not quite going to get the stagger he wanted, so he's going to have to do this one mm -hmm. more time, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I think he got an extra hit in, so he might get the laser. Hey, Frav Go. Uh, what's up? So he's going to drop a bomb. But yeah, welcome, Gasta. Hope you had a nice stream. Uh, let me give you a shout or, out. Or, or both. But he lived, so he's fine. Yeah, normally, even with the armor, that oh, laser will kill Oh, 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 wait, wait. I need to or, revert that. Or, or both. So he might get... Hear my shield, bro. Uh, yep. 
So he's gonna drop a bomb and hurt himself with the bomb instead of getting hurt with the Oh, it makes sense! That's why it failed later. But why did my shield break? I bombed myself. Or, or, or both. But he lived, so he's fine. Yeah, normally, even with the armor, that laser will kill you. I'm actually surprised he lived. Oh god, again? Uh, uh, Double laser, um, first time. That's not, never happened. That <laughs> never happened before. Never, dude. That's crazy. There we go. Alright. So, hopefully this time... He comes down... Yeah, so, yeah, because my shield broke here, I fail later. But, there he is. But I don't understand Excellent. why it broke, Head because the bomb one. does not Head blow up your two. shield. And you should be able to finish him off here. But it's, it definitely, de it 100% does not blow up your shield. What I can imagine is that the laser hit the shield at the same time as the bomb or something. Okay. Third one, fire blight, not quite as... Uh, definitely no, nothing I have ever seen, him like... By hitting him in the head. Um, once Bobzia has him at low enough health here, he's gonna walk up and try to basically finish off his first phase with a spinning attack. Going for those double hits. Didn't really get any. Okay, still, still managed. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went left on the shield menu and then there was no shield and then I got hit by the laser later. Know, by the by call. the electricity. 90% sure I'm going to ESA this summer. Hype for schedule. Go nice. For it, then man. I'm gonna see you, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, schedule releases in a few now, days, I think. Listening to where he is, but uh, pretty much just lets the boss uh, suck in the bomb and then blows it up. Uh, similar to like a King Dodongo type fight. Knocks him down. That was good damage Not for the spin. Not quite to finish him off there. He's listening for him. Trying to get the target. Kaboom. Excellent. Ah, one more hit. Missing. Alright, one more hit. There we oh, go. Yeah. Oh, that is so unfortunate with the shield, dude. That is so unfortunate. So let's be a little quiet as he does this one. We can explain it after, but... I should have heard, though. I should have heard... Oh, no, I couldn't hear that I don't have shield because Ooh. I did have a shield. It was just the wrong one. Like, I ha I put out the shield here. Well, looks like Quite he right. accidentally unequipped his shield. He actually dropped his second shield. That is a little unfortunate. I, wow, that is insane, dude. No, I think he He's unequipped it. Equipped yeah. it. I, it's so strange that the shield is going there. It's so, so, again. so strange. Mm -hmm. Hopefully his uh, backup save here does have that shield where he needs no, it. No, Molyman, like, it... I tell you, it never has happened Did before. He, it okay, never he happens. It, he, has it, he has it. So he is, he's good on the save somewhere during the There's menuing, no way. I, I never failed it in this uh, way. And did not have it where he was the wooden sheet breaks if you fail the, so fail the flurry the rush. So it's good, very scary. have to go through those three fights again. This is a very, very long fight. Um, and hopefully he can... The other one doesn't break. So we, we definitely don't want to do... It. Like, you can do it with the potted, but then you need to be confident. Yeah, but 100% marathon, Bearing. weird, very strange marathon luck, like, like that was very strange. Once again. Hey, Mia. Marathon luck, Even yeah. Even with the precise positioning for this wind bite, blight skip, it only has like an 85% chance of working. Live and let die. <laughs> Fight. There it is, excellent. Dude, uh... <laughs> I like the I like the the fighting right, game shoutouts here. Getting out that big claymore again. Hey Vitex, what's up? You shouldn't have too much trouble on these first couple blights. So uh, as he's getting back there, I'll explain what's going to happen with the Thunder Blight, which was the uh, the final hardest one. Is basically he has to get those flurry rushes um, when the boss comes in. It's very, very hard to time, let me tell you. Even playing sighted is hard to time it. It's a very small window. But he's listening to the whooshes that happen back and forth and trying to get it. Uh, the other attack the that whooshes. Can do is that <laughs> electricity. And that's actually why we have the pot lid. Because if you block electricity with a wooden shield, it actually does nothing. It doesn't even damage the shield whatsoever. So it's a very, very powerful thing. Yeah, now, pot lid is a bro. Being, pot lid is uh, such a bro. A uh, stalling out a bit with some of these ranged attacks, but uh, not the end of the world. Bubsy should be able to get him when he next comes down. But yeah, this I think this is. I think we still right, fail Thunderblade twice after this. 
Which is insane, dude. We spent so much time here at the Blights. All right. Just enough hits. Hopefully we'll not go into the laser here. He, oh my god, he, he heard the sound, the vous ne pouvez pas aller plus loin, or whatever it says. It made the sound because I'm too close to the wall, and I thought it de-equipped my shield somehow, or like broke my shield, that's why I was in the menu so long. I was so confused what the sound was, but now I saw it, like I was too close to the wall. I totally forgot that it makes the same sound. Crayon's block's getting a little close. Yes. I wasn't close enough underneath him. Okay, he's doing more of the Cryonis blocks. As long as Bubsy doesn't run into a wall here, he should not get hit by these. You can just walk away. Lazy from them. sound designers, true. And hopefully now Water Blight will come down. This part was suspenseful. There yep. It is. For me as well. <laughs> Hits. Very stressful. He's pretty far. Hopefully he knows. <laughs> Excellent. Got the hits. Two more. Nice. Hey, we got it. Oh. But like, I don't know. The crowd is still cheering and stuff. Right. So I Back hope they blood. still enjoyed it, Very even if I failed it a couple shoot of times. Him in the eye. Shoot him in the body a couple times. Shoot him in the eye a couple more times. And uh, be sure everyone got what was happening. Yeah, I just wanted the blights to be further explained. <laughs> The suspense added to the fun. Excellent, excellent. That's good to hear, that's good to hear. That was my only worry that like it was I failed too often and too long here. But Alright, phase two once again, gotta let it <clears throat> uh, suck the bomb up and then explode. I'm really curious about my gunon fight that, because that was clean. Ground. I want to see how it looked. Oh, oh, very far away. Far. He might not have the damage he's looking for right here. Oh, and he Ooh, pushed and he again. Away. That's so unfortunate. Oh my god. Yeah, I got close yep. to no damage. Hopefully, he's got a backup for this. Some more bomb arrows. Even more exciting when you fail. Hold on, was definitely okay, extremely enjoyable. Nice. nice. That's good to hear. Get really. the damage here. He's still got a lot of health. I'm not sure he's got the damage. The final day here. was stacked. The Two final more? day was really, oh, really good. Oh, so close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did pick up extra arrows just in case. Yes. He does not want to use up all of his bomb arrows. Oh. Well done. With the headshot. Excellent headshot. There was a part where the camera was inside him. Hold your applause. Okay. He's listening for the dashes. I always fail the first the first flurry rush. Okay, switching to the wooden shield here so that he doesn't take damage. There we go. Excellent. Wood not conducting electricity. There we oh, go. Flurry, flurry rush. rush. It's not over yet. I missed Breaking one hit there. The shield. But that's okay. With the Missing here. one hit is okay. Ooh, on to phase two, but that was a big one. He might have missed one hit. A single bomb lost to Lizard Shield in one blow? What? Really? This is gonna be a match. That is to insane. Remember. Fight! Hey, thank you for up. Okay, I want to see what happened here. Really great to have Normally, Thunderblight would bring down trip. some uh, pillars for you to Magnesis, but since we hate Magnesis so much... Yo, I'm give you one second. ...have a boomerang to the face, <laughs> and we're gonna toss out Rural Guard's Claymore for maximum damage, ending phase two immediately. What happened here? Now we're using bomb some arrow. more of the ancient arrow. and ancient arrows in order to get the damage we need. Knock him down to the ground. I was too far away. I still broke the sheet, though. It should be fine. He's a little far, he's oh. missing some hits. Hopefully he knows. No! Oh, not the wall, dude! Oh, oh my oh, god! So Are you oh, kidding me? It's oh, always god. the damn wall, dude. He do? might just reload the save. I don't oh, know if there's a backup here. This. That is so stupid. Try to see if he can find the boomerang. Yeah. It. Oh, it's gone. Dude. Mm, and he's getting Yeah, it's blocked. over. Yeah. If I would have parried this laser, which is like impossible to time, oh, I might have lived, but. 
Oh, the wall, He's dude. He's so low on weapons, too. I don't know if he has enough for <clears throat> the rest of Ganon as well. That's a tough one. I don't think we've ever done it without Didn't think the two million would happen. Oh, Stopped everything to watch as soon as I realized that they had reached it. Oh, ads. Any ads in chat? Should I also play my ads? Then we have double ads, dude. Commercial. <laughs> But yeah, Anigif, uh, thank you very much for the 15 months. Welcome back to the Star Crew. Really, really appreciate it. Great to have you back. Hope you had a great trip. It was amazing. I had a really good time. Let's try again. That's right. That's why we made that backup save there. Now this is, as you can hopefully tell, dude, a the very, wall, very dude. tough fight. He gets oh, almost one wall. shot, or in some cases does get one shot by anything the boss can do. But they're crazy and that the bomb so kills the shield. I also need to Let's test that. One more time. Because that's well insane. Come on, this Come on, crowd, lend Bubsy you your energy. Hey, Jordan. All right, setting up one more time. I suddenly feel compelled to apply for jobs in Germany. Really? <laughs> Go for it. Then the Twitch ad has worked. <laughs> Alright, hopefully it works one more time. It's gotten very, very fortunate with it working every A time A wall so showcase. Far. Hopefully we get one more. Oh, man. That's good. And I fail it one more time, right? It's still not over. I, oh my god, this, this is so... There it is for sure. Oh. Right, one blight down. Congrats on the run, it was awesome to watch. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Water blight, once again, gonna be dodging this first attack. And trying to stagger him down. Excellent. Play more to finish off phase one. I don't know if I want to do a run today. Maybe after we rewatch this, I quickly do an any percent. Just a quick PB. Right, you, you guys know. know the drill at this point. Phase two. We're going to be basically listening for where he goes, trying to shoot him in the head in order to get him to drop down, and then doing as much damage as we can while he is on the ground. Uh, Water Blade is just not giving Bubsy a good Yeah, oh, it's true. Yeah. Water Blade gave me... It's a 50-50 it's a 50 50 chance, and I got like... The worst RNG, like, every single time. Should be coming down now, though. I don't know, I don't know why, but I really did not get Good. lucky with it. One more. All right. Can't do a run today. You said you were done with Breath of the Wild at the end of this run. Okay. I said we will see. I said we will see. And I am, I am kind of done. But I do want to grab one quick last PB, because my PB is very bad. As soon as I finish a run, I PB by like quite a bit, I believe. So I just need like one or two more runs and then I'm good. Then, then I'm good for, for, yeah, for, for good. At home, if you have good enough headset, you might be able to hear it yourself as well. Until I submitted this game to RTA in Japan. Around, you might be able to just hear which side he's on. <laughs> I, I, I submitted this to RTA in Japan. So if this gets accepted, I am again back to the grind, I guess. Excellent. <laughs> I, I will never get released from this. I, I already said like, I think five times at this point that I quit this game. Very, very consistent phase one. And then it gets accepted to the next marathon, and then I have to practice it again. Just one more. Yeah, just one more. Excellent. <clears throat> Phase two, gonna once again let him scoop up the bomb Fate here. conspired to arrange their damage. battle. Round three, fight. <laughs> I can tell you, he's probably already thinking ahead to that Thunderblight. Yeah, um, I am. Go perfectly this time. I am actually he thinking about Thunderblight. Really it's killed so many of our runs. Yes. Oh, he's very far away. Still got a few hits. That's Still a decent there. damage. Okay. It would be. Uh, the, this is one of the places where in blindfolded, when you're running in blindfolded, you don't know. If you're too close to his weapon, it can actually set you on fire mm -hmm. without you hearing. And the next shot, that you, the next hit you get, you'll actually die. 
All right, Andrews. All right. Thunderblight once again. So once again, some quiet here. Okay, I want to see what happens here now. Almost. Yeah, always fa fading. Always failing the first one. Yes. Ooh, oh, unfortunate. No. He was trying to count the hits there and oh. not do that final hit, but unfortunately did one too I, many. No, I did he not do one too many. There. It just knocked him over with one not enough, he dude. He tried to flurry rush, but not attack the boss. And then after the flurry rush ends, he might try to go for the shield and then pick up where he left off. Yes. Yeah, this is the He's backup. coming up with backups on the fly here. So. And he gets knocked down mm. again, dude. That is absolutely so the mad. What's happening is if you delay that fl flurry yeah. rush, yeah. basically you're... The attacks that you could do beforehand wouldn't register, instead the later attacks will. So that's why you see uh, Thunderblight flying off in the yeah. distance. Yeah, so... Because it's registering as one of the final attacks. Yeah, so I did not... Yeah, I didn't do all seven attacks, of because I apparently delayed it too much. Which I don't know how, but I delayed it too much. Mm, and, know, um... I don't think it should be a problem, because Bubsia has been trying to be stationary as much as possible. Mm -hmm. The problem is that he's been using the boomer yeah, my durability. as opposed to this Royal Claymore, so instead of getting five extra hits on the Royal Guards Claymore, he only got one. So, oh, so I don't know what strat he's going to use here. Yeah, that is a good question. Ah, uh, Bubsem said I didn't get to meet you. Oh, you were, you were there? You were there? Dude, I didn't know. I, I would have searched you out and said hi. Okay. <laughs> so that worked. Did break. He's going with the regular strat. Okay. And, yeah. He doesn't have enough for his Yeah. I am missing a few hits. Uh, what to do? And here I got confused. I didn't want to take the hammer. Try something. No, and then I want I can I can save this if I if I target him. But the wall, the, the wall. Why is the wall there? Wow. Oh my oh, god! This is stupid wall. Dodge. Oh. If I wouldn't yeah, yeah. if I wouldn't have touched the wall, I could have I could have fixed this, dude. I I, I know how to fix this. Ah. Uh, this is so stupid. Yeah, the problem dude. with Thunderblade is. If he hits you twice, it bypasses the one-hit protection. So yeah. Even though Bubsia was at the full three hearts, because of how fast Thunderblight is, the first one. Yo, Inuata. And then the second one. Is thank you, thank you very much. For two attacks instead of one. Yes. Breath I Ball hope I I, I said it earlier. I I, I submitted this to uh, RTA in Japan. You much, you I, I hope I hope I can showcase but, this uh, to the Japanese community as well. We will see. We will see. And that's one of the main reasons why, for this route, we go for the Hopefully Thunderblade goes because better, though. Like each piece of armor gives you 8 defense. Mm -hmm. And 8 defense equates to... You should have used Royal Guard Claymore. For Link. Yeah, it? yeah, it's... it's so as long as you you have just have to react so fast. like On top of your 3 hearts, you can pretty much survive every single attack. Besides, perhaps... We really should. It was so fun, dude. Lasers. The Mario Party. The wall is the true enemy. Like I Come cannot on, believe, I cannot believe I, I got screwed by the wall twice. Let's go him your energy. But I think this is the this is the last one, right? This is the last one. All right. I think. Water blight once again. Really hope. Excellent dodge. to win mm. <laughs> <laughs> just show how hard right. this is impressive nonetheless yeah I guess so I guess so. I, I'm I'm not I'm not too sad about it honestly just now rewatching this it was like so stupid mistakes that I time, but, uh, I could have prevented I mean I could not right. because it wasn't my fault but like this it's silly that the wall is like so the eye and then we should be able to bring him down so weird <clears throat> excellent but yeah chat All doesn't seem to mind too much the, they are not like i guess yeah i guess it's that i guess it really shows just the difficulty of it because 
I don't know, I, I was thinking about that, like, maybe, because I failed it so much, maybe the chat would be like, oh, like, yeah, I don't know, has he not practiced this enough or something, you know, at least, like, okay, but it really scoring. doesn't seem like that, they are here. very supportive. <laughs> oh, we found him. Very quick find. He's very close, should be able to finish him off here. There's two more hits, let's go. Yes. Okay, let's do this the final time, dude. I want to see Ganon. Now back to Fireblight. Yes. Luckily, Fireblight, not quite as intimidating as some of the others. Yeah, Fireblight is Fireblight is pretty him, but, pretty okay. Uh, definitely should be able to make it through here. Dude, I missed back, so many back, hits there. <laughs> Hey, Panic. Our blight might be easy and might be a pushover, but he is definitely a silent killer with that fire. Mm. Mm. Yeah, do not yeah. ever want to underestimate any of these bosses. No, fire blight is easy, it is true, but I don't know if you heard it earlier, but like if you stand if you just randomly stand too close to his weapon, you get fire damage without the uh, audio cue. Missed a little bit. Okay. Still getting some good damage in. Probably just gonna have to do maybe two cycles. No, very good damage, actually. It was almost optimal, so he's on there. Okay. He's very close. Oh, good. He backed up enough. Yes. Two bomb arrows to okay. finish him off. Okay, here we go again. Now the Thunderblight. Will the wall Ready get into my, into my way? <laughs> Nope. Okay, a little late. Dude, twice. Late again, that's okay. Late is not too bad. Every time Bubsia does get hit by that, he gets pushed slightly yeah. backwards. I know I about like that, though. If it happens three times, it might be a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move forward a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Got it, though. One. You see, this is how it should Perfect. look like. This is how it should look Shield like. Break. Nice. And pops him straight up. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Hey Arcturus, what's up? Well set up for welcome, this welcome. Final phase. Let's go. So this is finally how it should look like from the very beginning. So we have it set up exactly so that there's only one durability left on our strongest weapon, and that's the weapon that we we're gonna smack uh, Thunderblade with. In the So, boomerang. All right. Once again, the boomerang to open him up. Claymore. Big damage. Picks up the boomerang again. Excellent. Yeah, he's always very close to the wall, I just noticed. A couple of arrows. Just has to smack yeah. him here. Hopefully he can get it. It's looking good. Nice. Okay. Oh. Okay. Whew. Oh god, it is stressful but to watch, even not if I'm now yet. not playing it. Oh yeah, and then instantly Ganon gave it the worst the pattern possible ever, weapons. dude. It's so, it's so marathon luck, dude. Yes. Yeah. Chasing. That is a very, very bad pattern. It's the worst Hopefully thing that he can do. Can back this up. So I know that I get hit here. Okay. I know that I get hit here, He's 100%. Eating just in case. So I, I'm just health, I'm just thinking but, about how I can okay. back this up. So I'm I'm just like thinking right now. Ooh, boom! Get hit. Ooh! <laughs> ooh! Ooh! ooh. Sure. <laughs> and the position that Ganon is yeah. In is this pattern, he needs to go like what Molly Man says, is true. In in Armorless, if he gives you this pattern, it's over. It's just RNG. You are dead. There's okay, no way to survive this. And we found the we found the claymore. That's the important part because okay, the problem if he hits you here. in this route is that your position gets off and then you cannot help. find the claymore. He needs to find Ganon. And um, if you miss the claymore, the run is also dead. So I got very lucky that I found it so well. I tried to like normalize on the wall and I think it worked. That was scary. Okay, but I think now I start to. It's always, after the beginning gets off, like, you need to kind of, like, get back into the zone. 
So here I find him. Yeah. So he is now back. All right, just getting some big damage in here. Laser. Excellent. So laser is the best attack that you can do. That you can do. Laser is the absolute best case. You can always parry, does All extra right. damage, so and he gets stunned. Taking some blocks there to make sure he doesn't uh, doesn't die. Tiny bit too early. A early on the jump. That's okay. <laughs> flurry Look rush. Flurry rush. Get that flurry rush. Paris are on point. So yeah. I, was yes, I did not miss a, a single one. I think. Sound cue for when he does a vertical slash versus a horizontal, which Bubsy is listening for intensely. For. And yeah, it, so it's very funny because I think everyone in chat like, thinks like, Thunderblade is again, is the He's worst point, but Ganon is hundred percent harder than Thunderblade. Like what I do right now here is much much harder than Thunderblade, and all the so blinds combined slant. probably. Here comes the laser. The parry! Oh, the parry master! <laughs> Bumsy making this look like Street Fighter third strike. <laughs> All those parries. Let's go, Justin! Excited to see what they think of this stun locks. Yeah, I, I had to redo one okay, stun one lock because I had right some here. weird position. I don't think this is I think. Off, but I'm, I'm curious really what happened well. there, yeah. Broke my weapon on it. Very good. Maybe Three arrows left. Bomb arrows? One more parry. This parry. More. That would be very impressive. Let's go. I got many parries. I only went to the wall once, so pretty good luck. Right. Nice. Also, I still had three ancient arrows, I think, that I didn't use. I, I missed quite a bit of damage there. Where he first needs to knock him down, and then he's going to try to do the spin attacks in just the right way to keep him stunlocked, but Ooh. first he's got to get that. Okay, tiny bit too, too late. So th this is a very scary moment. He doesn't know if he's on fire or not. So sometimes you might see him go to the inventory just to heal up. I wanted to bait a laser here, but yeah, he decided case. to go to the wall. If he does the three attack and then you walk back, he always does a different attack. But yeah, he can he can go to the wall. All right, he's on the wall. He needs to get him down. Oh, I, oh God! I pe oh my God! This is insane okay. here, dude. Excellent. This laser is so hard to parry. Right, this is so hard. Come. This is like so random. It's such a miracle that I got this. Oh yeah, I'm on the left side. Wow. Okay. Needs to listen here. Very, very close on the stamina. Oh, uh, he. Well, we can't see. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I mean. Oh, <laughs> we're blind. Oh, how am I hitting him, dude? <laughs> I don't think he knows he's facing completely the wrong direction. But no, he's getting, yeah, some hits he's getting his hits. Yeah, I'm turning the oh. camera the wrong way because oh, I thought I'm on the other camera. side. Oh, he's missing. And that's why, like, I, I didn't hear him hitting, especially here. What's happening is he's not targeting him, just so he can try to get some double hits off of the Royal Claymore. And because of that, he was not in the right position. Yeah. But it, was, it did work for a while. It did work for a while. And then I get another going, instant laser. There's, like, one leg out. Here. Excellent job. And now I should stun lock him all the way, I think. Okay, here comes the next part. This is the right. Po this so is this is the good position. Camera, this is how it should Bumsy look like. Is listening for that spear to go back in the ground as Ganon gets back up. Almost there. Almost there. Very low on durability. He's got to get these last few hits. Oh, if that was the double hit, he would have been dead. But as long as that final slam happens before the shield. Get it nice, dude. Let's go. And yet, it is still not over. We have one final fight. But you can all breathe now because there is at least a checkpoint here. We do not have to do all of that again. Yep. This now is, we, we, we are done. We're done with Ganon. Very good Ganon arrows. fight. The Ganon Bunchy fight was clean. A couple side hops here to also, new camera angle. Uh, I routed that in the practice room. This camera angle so reduces the lag a lot and makes the jumping easier. Lag. Yeah, he basically has to wait here for Zelda to open up the uh, the points to be hit.
So while he's uh, moving around, he's listening to what Zelda is saying. And when she says, uh, I, I forget what the, uh, the line is, but when she says a particular line, he'll know that he can actually shoot and hit it. Look at that. Point. All right, there's the first point. Nice first hit. These arrows will actually go through Ganon's body, so you can still hit through his body. Yep. Two. That is true. Ooh, not quite the third. Here we Instead go. The last one. Three. Nice. Three. Excellent. That was very fast. Like, usually you spent a bit more time there. So we position, he's positioning himself in such a way that Ganon will not turn around. Because once yeah. he turns around, he has to forcibly kill himself and restart this whole entire fight. Also, the way he's positioned right now, the beam barely scratches Link. Whee! So it doesn't kill him. Yeah, it's it's all it's all very close. It's it's very scripted, but it is very scary. He is just ready for it. Four. All right. There's two more there. The music is nice. It is five. Almost. Hopefully, it'll wiggle into position. Yeah. Right here, Bounce. there it is. Uh, once again, we're trying to reduce lag here for the next phase. Mm -hmm. Almost done with the fight. Okay. See, Ganon is Last dodge. Very low Last low. very scary part. More hits. Mm -hmm. Dodging the beam while looking down. Ooh. The, the, this sun is so scary. It, it might not look scary, but Finally, this laser is so one scary, last count dude. Here. Vise la lumière, Link. And time is coming up very short. Seven. Okay. One more on the next bow hit. That is going to be time. Oh, dude. Basically, he's going to reveal his main weak point his giant eye. We're going to snipe him right in the face. Sur sa tête. All right, here it comes, here it comes. Here it's opening come. up now. You're not wild to have an eye. Bubsia has no eyes. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Here we go up and boom. Dude, I got so blinded, by the way. I don't know if you saw that, but like I took the blindfold off and they had like five super hard lights onto me on the stage. And I looked directly into one of these lights when I took the blindfold off and I was like, whoa, this is, I am, whoa, this is bright. <laughs> oh, dude, this, I, 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 I was very humbled. I, I was very humbled. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was that was a fight. <laughs> hey, you yeah, can see um, how tired I am. Thunder dude. <laughs> is hard. That's all I can say. Um But yeah, that was blindfold the breath of the wild. I hope you enjoyed it. Um It's definitely a very very hard and uh taxing run but as you can see it's doable um blindfolded speedrunning evolves uh, which is super nice we can blindfold like every second game at this point and yeah i guess we have some incentives before we start those i think i quickly want to do the shout outs first um so yeah big shout outs first of all to my commentators i am sure you did a great job can we get some applause here thank you they did a good job i i on rewatching, really appreciate it and like the commentary. I think and they did yeah, very um, well. Commentators, definitely big shout outs. Big they kept shout -outs the conversation alive like super well. And my talked about all the strats. Uh, had some fun. Every day with had me. some like, jokes. Uh, without you, it wouldn't be possible. So, very, very grateful for that. Um, and yeah, we have some incentives, I believe, right? Um, I think they both got met before we started. Is that correct? All right, perfect. So, um, we actually have more to do in this funny game. Um, <laughs> but hey, fortunately, we don't need to fight Thunderblade Same anymore, combat. which is very good. Hey! Yo, uh, Yalaladini, what's up? Thank so you for yeah, the 12 months, whole year. Welcome back uh, BLSS to the Star to Crew. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the new badge. That's, that's a better one to, to calm down a bit here. 
Yeah, the wind so, bomb. <laughs> I got like so uh, fast. Yeah, while I reload, maybe I can <laughs> do some more shoutouts while I reload. Uh, I need to basically get back to the red plateau, so we need to watch some loading screens here to warp back there with my save file. Um, so, yeah, uh, my name is Babzia, and I do blindfolded speedruns since like six to seven years at this point, I think, close to like daily. It's this weird little hobby that I have, and uh, I've blind, I blind, I'm blindfolding like tons of games, Breath of the Wild, not only like, you probably know me rather from SM64 actually, uh, and like, yeah, I quickly just want <laughs> to shout out what the future looks like, because I'm kind of done with Breath of the Wild, to be completely honest. Um, it's it, it, like, Woo! it might be the <laughs> one guy, done. maybe not, maybe yes, we'll see. Um, but yeah, SM64 is back on the plan. And I'm done with the Yeah, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3, that's the big new three yeah. blindfolded projects. Um, they're gonna be Fuck this game, <laughs> it's not gonna be easy, but it's gonna be fun. So, yeah, um, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Batsia. Um, you can find my commentators on also social media. I can give the mic now back because I will prep for the wind bomb and I will leave it to you guys. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> so I guess um, while he's prepping for that, so um, you mentioned you can find us on social media. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Metroid Master, I run the Game Boy Advance Metroid. Dark games. Souls run, blindfolded, uh, yes. A little bit of Mega Man and I actually really, really want. A, I'm uh, so motivated right now for the S1 and Elden Ring as well. I've recently had to learn a Kirby game, so I uh, now run Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, Meta Nightmare 100%, and we may be seeing more of that at future marathons. Excellent. I am uh, Mitriz. You can find okay, me at twitch.tv slash Mitriz, and I do uh, <clears throat> Elden Ring and Sekiro, as well as uh, Blindfolded, a uh, bit of both of those games. I uh, haven't done a full Elden Ring yet, but uh, maybe when Bubsia learns, maybe I will too. <clears throat> who knows? Who knows? Blindfolded race win? Ooh. Blindfolded Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crystal Saver. You can find me at no, uh, Elden Ring uh, is fun too. Saver or YouTube Dark Souls 1 will be fun Frozen though. Melody. I will very, like very, I said, I do a whole very bunch of just like soon Bob's start VR. with that. I'm going to be actually going back into Celeste this whole entire month. Oh, uh, yeah, I did this wind bomb without like reduction, Bob's just to show. Too fast here. He's already set up for the wind bomb. <laughs> where... Boom. <laughs> and he's already done hey. it. He's clean. Already done it. <laughs> <laughs> that was very Come clean. On, Bob's, yeah, Got very lucky there. To shout ourselves out here, but... Uh, basically, uh, this was one of the shrines. I have a look at earlier, the S3 as well. It looks to yeah, it, and, uh, like I tell you, time, the full route is. I like I have a full theoretical uh, route done, and do I actually have two routes uh, done by now. I just need to lap out the movement. Really. One of the routes is kind of a cheese, but it will be the easier one, and the other one is harder but also doable. And so now he is switching controller over to do the mm -hmm. uh, BLSS, which stands for the Bow Lift Smuggle Slide while blindfolded, um, and that is a super, super powerful uh, BLSS. Um, it is super fast. I, I don't know why I failed to get, BLSS uh, so hard. The entire world. Uh, it looks pretty funky. Uh, it uh, is not overly difficult uh, in order to perform, but it is overly difficult to do quickly. Um, and so let's see how he does with this blindfolded. So basically, uh, the first thing Oh yeah, there was this weird incident with the shield. Bomb and his bow <laughs> at the same time by basically just pressing uh, the buttons for both I remember. pretty much together. And uh, that's gonna get the game a little confused here. So he drops it, picks up at the same but time as does the bow. Why did it not fail the first time then? Nope, not quite this time. Oh, because I changed it here. Oh. Switching shields just in case. Wait, what? Okay. One more time. There that we go. That should not there work. He's holding both in his hands, which is a little weird. Uh, then he's gonna actually unequip the shield. Uh, it did not no, work. Okay. Switch shields there. He needs to unequip the shield. Wasn't yeah, quite right. He had two. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I think he usually the double shield just, incident. Just one to make it a little easier. Um, but if he unequips the shield, uh, the bomb <clears throat> is just you know sort of going to be hanging out. The two and by shield doing incident. A second yep. set of like dropping the bomb at the same. Time I had. I was absolutely not aware uh, of it yeah, anymore. Like I, I, uh, I always when I as, as the, in the naked route we only have one shield oh, at this point. It? When I practiced uh, it, I only had one shield, so I never did it with two shields. Equip the shield. 
There it is. So you can see now he's holding the bow and the bomb is just kind of on his hand. And if he walks off this edge here, uh, he's Whee! flying. But yeah, I don't know why my angle messed up. I highly assume I was too far left. I don't know if that is true, now, but flying, it looks very far left as well. Back and forth, the bomb will just slowly push you backwards, but so I don't understand you why gain, it did not uh, push me further right. Speed. Uh, it is really, really hard to do fast to do the wiggles because the faster you wiggle, the more speed that you get. Um, I had good wiggles, a, by the way. I, I my finger was not slippery right at all, here, for once. It all the way over to Ganon's you got it. Here, okay. But it seems kind of the right it is direction. It's possible to hit a speed limit, so that's why Bubsy is wiggling the stick, but then he kind of stops just so he doesn't hit that limit. Because when it does, it resets your speed back to zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, during this entire time that he's doing this, he has to be holding down the B button, and he has to never what in make the name of Hylia? The, uh, the stick go back to the neutral <laughs> position. If either also, no wiggle strats. I had a mask on. Like you could not see. Also, make sure not to hit I'm sorry. Buttons. So it takes a lot of precision. He's a, a draw strats, not wiggle strats. Draw strats. Uh, I mean, this is still a very impressive BLSS. Has made it a super far distance at this point. So here's the uh, here's the castle. But it's a, just a tiny to bit to the right, and I didn't hear the music, so... Castle itself. Unless maybe this might count? Uh, he just went outside the boundary. Yeah, I was... Where, where the loading zone was, I could have made it if I want... If I opened the glider. Your uh, incentive that you were so generous in donating for. But yeah, maybe you need slippery fingers to curve fight. That might actually not be a bad suggestion. Like, like okay, because if I have slippery left, fingers, I don't wiggle right, so much. And yeah, maybe I, because I have too much speed, because of good wiggles, maybe because of too much speed, I go faster to the, like, straight. And then, like, I don't curve so much, you know? I, I can, I actually think this is a good reason for it. I just did it too well. You get a second BLSS for the price of one. Suffering from success. It honestly, right. like. <laughs> so setting it all up once again. So say but no, it's exactly as to say. Like I, I'm not curving as I usually do. I think I completely butchered it last time. What is going on here? I think you pretty much nailed it for the most part. Basically, what we're trying to do is, like the the name suggests, boatless smuggle. Basically, you're trying to get the bow and a bomb like together. At, it, you know. Trying to get the boat. Oh, trying to get a boat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Splish. We're trying to make it so Link is basically smuggling a boat in his hands. So once more, once when, more with feeling. <laughs> once he gets a bomb out, basically the bomb's gonna attach to his hand. And what what's happening is like you said, once he runs off a certain ledge, it has to be like a certain How often did I fail this? Ledge. Like for instance here. I did this quite for for a long time. I have the feeling where Link's with the with the double shield kind of like incident. Only one foot goes up like in a kneeling position and that kind of triggers the BLSS. So what while he's holding B and holding forward, once he makes that one step up, he's gonna start flying in the air. And like you said again, the bomb is the thing that's pushing him in the opposite direction. So as long as he keeps wiggling in the opposite direction, the bomb's... Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, he does not realize he has those two shields in his yeah. inventory. Two it's shields. Just, two shields. The two shields. <laughs> hey, Pybusta, right. thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully he can figure it out this time. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I'll have to tap him on the shoulder and let him know. Hopefully he can... Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I could show here. some blindfolded right, game into the world, really honestly. like I'm very happy about that. Nope. <laughs> He does not realize the two shields. <laughs> you gave him the tap. Uh, he's thinking. He's thinking. I think he. I G think give me the tap, Mitch. Give out. me the tap. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's laughing about it. <laughs> All right. He forgot. One more time, I may just give him a little tap. And, no, uh, give me the tap know. now, Mitch. Not one more time, please, dude. Oh my god. Okay. He Good doesn't point. know, man. He doesn't know. <laughs> he does not know. No, I oh, do right, not know. Right, right. Give him the tap. You've got two shields. Two shields. Huh? You have two shields. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Two 
Zeit. It's quite funny. Once again, the first part. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I realized. Not quite. There it is. Yep. Ooh. And, and then I get it first try again. So I just drop the bomb now. I it just is. failed it, it like when I I just fake the shields the basically. Right angle as he uh, runs off here. Ooh. Oh, that was very early. I think he's way too far left again. Yeah, a bit. What do you think, Silver? <laughs> it looks like he's too far left, but when you're blindfolded, for me, I know I tend to go to the right. So okay. even if this might still work. Yeah, okay. usually curve Hopefully to the left, to the right, does. for sure. Incurs a lot of lag as it's going on here. He is drifting a little to the right. I'm not sure he's going to get all the way there. Uh, we will find out very shortly. Yes. He could potentially change his wiggle from left to right to, say, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 5 o'clock or something. Mm -hmm. Now make him go more toward the right. Yeah. Uh, oh, he is, he is steadily going toward going. the right. He's going. He's going. He's going. He may know that he's is a little off enough? to the left. Will it be enough? He's definitely holding up right. Yes, he, oh, he definitely I knows. I think he's going to make it. I didn't. Yeah, I was thinking I'm too far left, but oh, it still was not enough, apparently. Castle. This has to count, and he could go all the uh, way. <laughs> but I, oh, it's so close. It's right there, dude. It's too far left. He's shaking his head a little bit. It's loading. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm just going to smack into the pillar. Go right, go right. Yeah. Well, he could float. Go right. If he knows, if he knows which way he uh, he needs to go. Uh. No. He's try he thinks he's at the castle, so he's trying to make the map load so yes. he can teleport. But unfortunately, that did not work. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe. Baiting. Oh, just a little more. No. A little more backwards, I maybe. I think he's too far at this point. I don't yeah. think it's quite going to work out. Yeah. Once yeah that, that's a guardian yeah. targeting there. Yeah. That is going to ruin everything. Yeah. Well, he might be thinking it's a castle guardian because there's a bunch of those. Mm -hmm. Why are you treating as if he didn't know how it ended up? <laughs> it's interesting Not... to see, dude. No. <clears throat> even blindfolded. DLSS like, I, I didn't know where I land and right stuff. The castle. The castle maybe I was, like, very close. Area to hit. And you can see how hard it is. And, and you can't see. And sploosh. <laughs> Just swim upstream. You'll make it eventually. <laughs> oh, this is the moat around the castle. Oh, Just must be. Forward. Must be the moat around the castle. What else could it be? And drown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, the shields I did not know because I always practice the trick always in the with one shield. Oh, he is, I think, heading towards the castle at this point. Yeah, I, I because did have this happened before, and I know that the waterfall. That's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. The waterfall sound or the water splash sound is to the left, and the castle is to the right. Yeah, I think he's gonna need to do oh, this one again. So close, so Once close. More with feeling, and. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah alright well we did get two BLSS's there yeah I just didn't get to the castle I mean I did show off the glitch so I, I think people liked it or like it was enough at least so yeah this was a BLSS we couldn't quite oh, find well. the castle but uh, you get the idea I assume like we can just fly through the map and Oh, they and switched me off already. <laughs> to get to the castle, so um, it is doable for sure. It's just pretty precise. So I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of the little glitches. Um, Cryonis Wind Bomb also cancel like super much of the shrine. And yes, one more time, thank you for having us here. Really, really appreciate it. Thanks for all the donations here at SVDQ. 
it, you, you all are awesome. It's, it's just amazing what, what's happening here. And I don't know. That's it from my side, I think. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Give it up one more time for Bubsy. Nice, dude. Okay. Cool run. GG, well Give played. Give it up one more time for Bubsia in that incredible G -G, blindfolded well played. showcase. And we still have more runs to come. This is not the end of the marathon. Yeah, there's also... We uh, have collect it looks like we have an interview. Can you take it away? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Kung Fu Fur Cup. Oh, wait. Oh, I think you're over here, maybe. I am Kung Fu Fur Cup, and I am here today to talk to Bubsia about <laughs> this was such a fun idea. the wild blindfolded <laughs> run. <laughs> So Blindfolded interview, Bumsia? dude. Hey, it's going good. Thanks for having me here. Oh, hey. Um, nice to have <laughs> you here, I think. I think you're here. At least I can hear you. That's good. So uh, I have a couple questions for you that I... Um, okay, well, I can't read these questions. But, you know, we're just going to roll with it. Yeah, so if you it's a, the home, blindfolded link in the back is super cool. That amazing blindfolded boss segment. What about an entire game blindfolded? And another open game, open world game... Um, on top of that, it's going to be amazing. So, I wanted to ask you first of all. This is uh, such how? a good idea, though. Like, Fu <laughs> yeah. contacted me uh, before the interview. Like, um, hey, sh should we do it blindfolded? Like Wouldn't it be practice, super goofy? Uh, even I was like, I am down, dude. This is uh, such a good idea. Basically, ninety percent <laughs> preparation, ten percent actually like executing the run. Uh, that comes afterwards. That's just like practice. It, it makes things easier after a while. Um, but no, lots and lots and lots and even more of preparation and practice. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> that's fair. I actually really appreciate the um, the ratio, the percentage. That's cool. That's good congratulations. Such a great run was okay, honestly so one of the my highlights of my GDQ. Particular. Thank this you. Game, so Very glad to hear that. Do you, would you say you have to help correct yourself if you get off track? I appreciate it. So how navigating like an open world game like Breath of the Wild works blindfolded mostly is that we have like always some set points where we want to go, for example, like let's say point A, point B, and we will always make sure to like have a way to normalize on each of these points. For example, <laughs> okay, this there's a big overworld section, but there it's is a pretty wall funny. Like I've done so house, much in my life already blindfolded wall, at this point. I've done Link's interviews, footsteps. I did uh, gaming, stop, and ring like, fit. Okay, we know we are on the wall now. We can from here continue our setup to the next point. And we like need this, to do play with tiny, mocha blindfolded one day of the run, on stream. Uh, back to back to back and then we have a full game run suddenly perfect so if you think like let's say you that the sound doesn't happen or the thing doesn't happen that you want to happen like what what do you do then panic <laughs> <laughs> no okay why well, I, I, I have like nice shirt thank you thank you, but, thank you, know, you. just in case yeah no uh, we definitely have lots of backups in the run um the uh, blindfolded speed running is like all about backups that's like why 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 it's fun after all um, so Breath of the Wild especially has like a pretty good saving system. We can do many safety saves here and there, so we can always just reload the file and um, retry what we failed. There are some instances where that doesn't work that easily, but usually it should be no problem if something goes wrong. I will either figure it out or reload the, <laughs> reload the save. So. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, reloading the save sounds like a good, a good plan for sure, because then you'll know Panic. exactly where you're going to spawn. <laughs> yep. Cool. Um, so then I would say, Eating, okay, so in yeah, that 10% that you're talking about, when you're actually trying out the run, what would you say is the most ridiculous thing that has happened to you? Like maybe where you've ended up or just something? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I, I can talk for hours about that. Like I'm on my, on my stream, I don't know why, but there are many crazy things happening all the time to me while I'm blindfolded. The worst thing that happened is probably there was a storm outside while I was running and my window broke and it rained into my apartment. It, uh, for real, like in yeah. real life. Oh my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> in real life. Like, I was playing and suddenly... <laughs> what, like, what's that okay, question? What's the sound? <laughs> uh, there's something loud going on and yeah, my window was broken. Oh my goodness. Okay, then real quick before I let you go, like what would you say as somebody who does a lot of blindfolded stuff for speed runs, what is like a piece of advice that you would have to somebody uh. who wants to give it a shot? Um, lots of patience, have fun, have patience, it will work out after all, uh, just keep going, stay motivated, and you can do it, that's what I want to say, like, everyone can do blindfolded speedruns, it's not as hard as it seems, it is hard, okay, but, uh, Practice. Practice yeah. a lot. Practice a lot. That's good. Absolutely. Okay, everyone. Before this interview started, I saw that we had hit what 1. What did you see while uh, doing the interview? Like when gaming, you yes. see the route. So what we need to do 
okay, the game in your head, but there, nothing really. Like you, you still really think about like what you I'm talk about. You how excited I am for this, and I'm sure everybody else still like thinking about what you talk about. So. Yeah, big big shoutouts to Fu. I I was cool. <laughs> Please get those donations in so we can see this. I beg of you. I'm so, 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 so excited. Thank you so much, Bubs. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And with that, we are going to hand you off to Scent for some prizes. Th thank you so much. Yeah, no, that was uh, it was really cool. Big shout outs to Fu for organizing this blindfolded interview. I had lots of fun with it. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. I will upload this on YouTube uh with like the gdq chat and like my little reactions my first rewatch so look out for that probably end of the week and yeah that's all i gotta say thank you for watching for youtube for now we're gonna do now some more stuff but yeah youtube guys take care bye bye hey thank you very much for watching this uh, gdq run of mine i have heard many many kind and positive words about my performance at gdq and i'm i really appreciate it um i hope you enjoyed this little rewatch um and i will link the original video of the gdq run as well as well as like the twitch vod if you want the twitch chat in the description big 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 shout outs for all the support definitely it wouldn't be possible without you guys um, big shout outs to my Patreons, especially Ben Litz, Bob Farrell, Boris, King Roops, and Zeke's Many. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, um, that was my blindfolded Breath of the Wild speedrun. I don't know if I will do more in the future, <clears throat> but we will see about that, I guess. Thank you for watching and see you around. Bye bye.